Greetings, welcome to the channel. Uh, <laughs> this is update, I don't know, two, one, of the 1997 Ford F-150 XLT. You know, get a picture of the box. Standard cab pickup that we started four years ago. We got it rolling in a rolling chassis and in the interior is all painted. Uh, been doing a little paint testing. So I paint to paint the cab and the bed. And then it's done, just besides putting it together. Uh, I did these well, this morning. Uh, this is, uh, that might have a little trash in it, but. Got some nice shine to it. Um, this is. Don't pay attention to that. This is a white bra, uh, spoon, and this is one with gray primer. And it's got three three coats of uh, floor shine on it. And what that is is Cretex. Perized blue, and I apparently got paint all over the side of it. Uh, poor middle Shrek is going to have a cow. Anyway, <laughs> I've been playing with that. Uh, also, been playing with this, and this is uh, Black Pearl. I'm getting low on uh, gunmetal, yeah. So I sprayed this. On some spoons and also has three coats of uh, four shine on them. The this has got a little crinkle in it because I got a little, a little excited on on painting it. Apparently that one does too. I or, or no, that's not. That's uh, that's the pearl in it. <laughs> but it looks like gunmetal. So, since I had to redo the USAC pickup truck, I'm, I, and that's, yeah, that's not rough. That's the pearl in it. This is just, I just painted these last night. Uh, that's step two of getting uh, ready to do the sanding patina stage because I got to put white on it yet because I had to go back in the tank and get fixed anyway this is about the F-150 not the, not the USAC 55 Ford 100 uh, so I'm, I'm like these two back get the back to the Ford or R or R hillbilly 50 percent paint uh, the other 50 percent is 20 percent moisture fluid. Uh, I got a little retarder I put in it and then uh, floor shine. These three, and that was shot with a 0 0.3 needle at 20 pounds of pressure. These three I painted an hour or so ago, and yeah, they're. Straight out of the bottle at 50 pounds of prayer pressure. And you can see they look pretty good. The bottle says 50 pounds air pressure. But it doesn't say straight out of the uh, bottle. What prompted me to do that is I was watching Barbados Rex this morning. Demonstrating his new airbrush. And he... 
the last test was using Cretex, uh, one of the new ones. It wasn't, this is, uh, this is just a plain airbrush. So it comes out pretty good. So I'm going to put a, a uh, some uh, floor shine on top and see what it looks like. I do have the Cretex top coat. That may put on a couple of them. Because, hang on a second, I did do two, but I can't find them. I did do two others that had the Cretex top coat on it, and it looked just like that. But this uh, Cretex dries, as you can see, it dries flat. And because it's meant to have a top coat on it. Anyhow, that's where we're at with the Ford. So I do like this color. I thought about the black. And I thought about the blue. But I do like I do like the blue. And the interior is red and black. So I think this will be a good combination. I thought about putting a Yeah. Blue on the sides, black on the top. And then the hood. But I don't know. I'm still I'm still pondering that, that that question. So when I make up my mind, we'll we'll do a little painting today. Greetings. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today's painting day, so we've done painted a bunch of things. Now we're going to work on the 1997 Ford X150 XLT standard bed. It needs painted. And I tried to uh, this. And, and uh, I like that. And this. Now it focuses. What you're seeing is the pearl. This is black pearl. And that's blue pearl. Okay, both of these have floor shine on them. And this is the Cretex uh, Blue Pearl and Black Pearl. This one has the uh, Cretex top coat. And I don't see any difference. <laughs> so. We're going to be using floor shine. Because that's what I like. And it's easier. This. Uh, where's it at? Uh, hmm. There we go. This here is like uh, spraying. Be sprayed out of the bottle. It's like spraying uh, Elmer's glue. <laughs> yes, it does work. Fifty pounds air pressure, point five needle or better. 0.7, preferably. 
Otherwise, you gotta thin it. The Maya Gallery. GHAD 68 sprayed it, but it didn't like it. And I was sprayed at 50 pounds of pressure. It, 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 it sprays this okay. This is not as thick. Yes, it's still thick, but it's not as thick. But, I'm going to thin it just a little bit. And I have thinned it with floor shine. Or, uh, window wash and it works just fine because after all it is water based so we're, we're going to uh, mix this up and we'll be right back okay so <laughs> this is more for me than you but uh, this is uh, 0 0.75 milliliters is that it you know, milliliters of paint and we're going to use floor shine Okay. Now what floor shine does is it gives a little a little bite to stick better and it acts as a, a, a leveler. And then we'll put six drops of this in there. We can, This is the same mixture that I used when I painted the uh, showboat. <laughs> I'm going to put four drops of uh, flow improver. Make that eight. And that's it. Good, bad, or indifferent, that's how I mix it. Because we have lots of paint to paint. We have a bed, a cab, and hood, and a tailgate. And we're going to paint the tailgate first. Uh, we're going to, we're going to use that at uh, that's so I don't stick my hand in it. <laughs> we're going to use thirty pounds of air pressure and see how that works. I'll move this back over here out of the way. Okay, this is going to be noisy. I'm going to turn the microphone off, and I'm just going to let it run.
Okay, well, as you can see, we got her painted. Uh, and none to spare. I guess, I guess, okay. Uh, I had to clean the nozzle off because, uh, let me do this first, because that's window wash. I'll clean it out here in a second. Uh, it starts spitting. So I cleaned the nozzle off and I bumped the air pressure up from 30 psi to 35. That seemed to fix the problem. There again, just guessing. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason. There's just things you try and things that work. But I should have put just a little bit more retarder in it. It was drying just a little fast coming out of the brush. But like I said, I, I increased the air pressure a little bit and that seemed to help it. I don't know. Anyhow, we'll be back. We're going to clean the brush. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we got the, the gun cleaned up. A mm, little bit of a mess. Yeah. Nice part about acrylic is it'll come off. This is uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, they make their own reducer. But uh, I'd... It's like $18 for a bottle or something like that. You know, this is five. Yeah, $4.99.5. Uh, I just add a little bit of... Retarder to it, floor shine, little window wash, works just fine uh, through a 0.5 needle, 30 pounds of air pressure, uh, sprays, it sprays absolutely wonderful. You can see, see that for yourself. Uh, the thing is it dries even though this has floor shine in it, it still dries flat. And let me uh, scoot the camera closer to the light. Yeah, going for a ride. There we go. So it, uh, you know, you don't see the, pearl till you put the clear on it. It's just, it's really weird how that works. And it's been, uh, 20 minutes since I sprayed this. And it's got, you know, a flat shine to it. I mean, you could leave it just like that if you're okay with it. That'll set overnight. Along with the, uh, tailgate. And the hood. Hmm, oopsie. Oh, it looks like there's a speck right there. Well, ain't that just a piss right, right where the driver's gonna be seeing it. That's all right. We don't care. We'll, we'll try to pick that out and clear over it. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Greetings, welcome back to the uh, 1997 Ford F-150 XLT finish video. <laughs> Pretty finish on. Uh, yesterday we got painted, as you can see. And uh, this is uh, Cretex uh, Pearl Blue. As you can see, it's... It's got a bit of a shine to it, but it's going to look better because we're going to put 
uh, floor polish on it. I have the Koreatex top coat. It does a pretty good job putting a shine on. I'm not the shiny, shiny car guy. I just like a, not a matte shine, but a little more than that. This has four coats of the uh, Koreatex on it. So, we're going to try with floor shine. What we're going to have to, what's the worst that happened? Put it back in the LA Awesome. <laughs> it's all right. It's all good, right? It's modeling. Anyhow, we're going to give this a spray job. That's the way we roll. Anyhow, I'll bring you back when we get done. Eh, what the hell? We'll just let the let, let her roll. <laughs> you just won't be able to see over here very well. But that's okay. And uh, I'll probably take and turn the uh, bike down. Pardon my head. I'm going to tell you something, in a 0.5 needle, this comes out pretty fast. I may even have to lower the air pressure some, but, well, we're going to fill her up. I'm going to have to get the big bottle down. <laughs> I just filled that up yesterday. You'd think I use that floor shine a lot, huh? Anyway, we're going to turn the fan on here. I don't know how, that's part of noise, isn't it? So we'll mute the microphone and we'll, you can just watch.
Okay, well, <laughs> there you go. That's uh, looking pretty good if you ask me. Not bad. It's got a, sh a nice sheen to it. I think this would look better uh, over silver. But I didn't want to take the time to... It had gray primer on. I figured that was good enough. And it's all... It's all painted. Looks good to me. Is it the world's best shine? No. I don't like the world's best shine. If I can see myself in it, it's too shiny. <laughs> I don't build cars that way. Uh, but it looks good for me. Whether it's the floor shine or the or the paint, I don't know. Because uh, I have other uh, models that I use floor shine on. And they're shiny er. But they're uh, plain acrylics, where this is not. That's okay. I like it just the way it is. So we're going to let that dry, and then we'll paint on something else. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye. Remember, be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. Save the fingers, Kyle. <laughs> I'm rambling, ain't I? Oh, well, that's the way I roll. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, this video will probably be out way after that, but it's okay. Anyhow, take care.